Welcome back to SOS. I could have let that song go. Just keep on rolling. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass, and today we're going to make a knife sheath. <laughs> so, people like this, this sheath. They like this style. So, look, if you send me something, just give me a heads up that you're going to send it. Someone wanted me to make them a knife sheath. They sent in, in return, they kind of wanted a knife sheath. I got it. I will make the knife sheath because I'm a good sport. The thing is, if you send me something and it's like that and you need something made for a tracker knife that looks like this, just give me a heads up first before you send it. That's all I'll ask. That's it. I'm not complaining. It's a video. Why am I going to complain? I have a knife to make a sheath for. I'm not complaining. Okay, so I've got to make a knife sheath. They sent me some stuff, and in return, I'm making a knife sheath. I'm going to flip it a few more times when it's on the table. Let me bring you over here. Come on. All right, you should see what I'm doing here. It's no big deal. So, first off, you need a piece of leather, all right? I'm going with this. I like this color. You can get this in any pack. I went the other day. I needed more leather. I had ran out, so I had to go buy some leather. I went to the local... Just a regular old thrifts, uh, not uh, not the thrift, but the uh, uh, Michaels. I went to Michaels. That's where I went. The store I went to. They had leather in bags for six bucks. So I bought another leather bag, which had some interesting stuff in it, and I found this piece of leather in it. I thought would be cool for this little project. Now I already started drawing on it. What you want to do is lay your knife out for this project here. You're going to want to fold it first. Bring it to where you need it. Fold it. And just make sure you got room. Okay, I do have room. So, I've got it, fo I folded it already. So now I want space. Alright, more space. And you want to make sure you have the space. What I do, is I take my marker. I already marked on it, yes. But all you do, is just go around it. Trace your seam. Alright, now remember... Stuff like this, where it's got this little gap here, make sure you draw a straight line back. All the way back, okay? Because that stuff can't go over this. If you close this in too tight, you're not going to get the knife out. It's just going to slice it open. You don't want that. So you want there to be plenty of space from here to here, okay? So you just you make sure you got your line right there. All right? That's a straight line. Now... I've got my line in this direction. That's all I need because this is going to end up straight anyways. All you do is press down on the knife. You Once you get your lines drawn, keep it lined up. I, I give myself some space so I draw another line about a marker's length, a sharpie marker's length away from the blade. That's how I measure. I just do that. All right. People think it's odd how I do my work. But I do it the easiest, fastest, cheapest way. All right. So I do this, and I just bring this in, because I want this closed up. So I want it to look like that, and I want this to go in like this, because this is where I'm going to add my strap. Same thing over here. All I do is press the knife down and roll. Roll to the other side. Nice and easy, just like that. See how it lined up? Lined up with the lines I had already made. Yep, it's still there. All right. So over here, I just go ahead and I do my inside line, just to be on the safe side. I know that's how much space I need. Sharpie's marker. And double check. Make sure I got plenty of room. So I got plenty of room there. Just like that. Any excess I can cut off later. Just like that. Boom. Set the knife to the side. Now I'm going to cut it out. You see that? Pretty simple. Alright, I've got it all drawn out. Now I just need to cut it. Alright, it's all cut out. As you can see, it's nice. Nice little taco. Anyway, knife goes in it. Give it a double check. And that's how it all lines up. Pretty simple. This is going to go on the back. This is going to be scout carry. I, I'm not going to have a lot of room for another pouch. Uh, I might be able to put a pouch on it, but we'll see. But I'm not going to have a lot of room there. It doesn't look like. And I still have to run my stitches all the way through. So, that being said... Folding this over, 
then I need to find something that will fit in it. Well, you've already cut this out and it made that perfect little circle, right? So all you got to do now is take this, look at the inside here, cut just a little nub off, just like that, and then set it in there. Because you've already cut that out, so you've already got something you can use. Just uh, bring that in far enough, just like that. Bring it in just like that. And then bring this out. And then set it down. See if you've got some room. I might have to use that other piece. It might be in better shape. But you set this down in there, just like that. Just give it a check. It's probably not going to have the right room. So you're probably going to have to, let's see, like I said, I might end up using this other piece. This other piece might be in better shape. I just line it up on that line and on that line. That's why I make that inside line. And then I make sure I've got room when I fold it. Slide this in like this and fold it over and I make sure I've got room like I said. Anyways, now all I do with this piece here so I've got this all laid out the way I want it. I take this I've got that set up. I get my trusty super glue. This always freaks people out. Super glue. That's all you need. All right. I got that laid out. Now, hang on a sec. Get super glue all over me. All right. Hang on a sec. I'm sure, it doesn't. Camera doesn't move. All right. just like that now I'm laying that out there just like that I gotta let this dry see this will dry out and then that'll be closed up all right now, I might have some details I have to get in there and probably add another pin there or whatever the case is but this will line up perfect I could add another piece of leather there the blades not gonna be very thick so I probably I probably will be good the way it is so it looks like that'll work just like that anyways but that's that so now all I got to do now I've got this laid out I know this fits I already know that's going to work you can see there and then all I got to do now is fold this over and start punching my holes now everybody knows I don't like punching holes I don't it takes forever but I've got to do it now I'm gonna have to punch my holes, add my straps, so I've got to I've got to do all this stuff together. So, when I get this together, I fold this up. I'm going to have to cut this. These straps are going to come from the back side right here. Just like that, and they're going to snap. See, I'm not going to have room, you see that. There's it's just too small. The knife's a lot smaller than that one, so I'm not going to have the same kind of room. But uh the snaps will come from the other side just like this. And uh, just like that, and I gotta add my snaps and everything before I stitch it up. That's the other thing. But I just gotta make sure I've got plenty of room. So I will go ahead and punch my holes first. You got it. And I'm gonna cut this off. It's pretty simple. I've already got it glued. It's already glued in place. I can feel it's already dry. So all I gotta do now. Well, I thought it was dried in place. Kind of pop loose on me a little bit. I've already started cutting this. This green light, I gotta go. I can re re hear it, just like that. It'll still stick. All right. Stuff happens. All right. I've gotten used to stuff happening to me while I'm working, especially when I'm making videos. People wonder why I don't, like, they think this stuff happens in, like, 20 minutes. They watch my videos, or they don't. They watch my videos, and they go, man, it only took, like, 30 minutes to make that knife sheath. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I pause it so much. It's actually more like three hours. All right. There's that. All right. That's dry. So I'm moving on before I do my stitches. I'm going to go ahead and... Start knocking out the rivets. 
for the back side. Straps, the back straps. They're going to come around about like that. You just got to fold it. Go ahead and size up where they're going to go. Give them some room so they'll have a little bit of space there so they can put their belt through it. There's not going to be a lot of space because it's going to be really small because it's a small knife. But it'll work, okay? And uh, just give them a little bit more space. That's all you got to do. That way it'll go over their belt loop. All right. Because uh, it's going to be scout carry. So basically when this goes on, it'll, it'll be tight on there. They're going to flip that through the belt loop and then tighten it up like that. So that being said, I've got one in there now. I just need to put my, there it is, ribbon in place. That's a rivet. I'm going to add a new hole here because it's going to come back a little bit. Right about here. Like that. And then bring this one over here. You got that there. I just kind of make sure I've got that in the right place before I punch it in. Ta da! I gotta find a shorty, a short one. All this stuff gets cleaned up in the end. I go around and I, I tighten everything up, clean everything up, make sure it's all spaced and fits correctly and all this other crazy nonsense. All right, there's another one of those, perfect. All right, so that. So these things are indestructible. I mean, once you get these uh, rivets in place, it's ridiculous how well they hold. All right, so basically, I will stitch this up. I have to, I have to go ahead. And, sorry about that. I have to go ahead and I bring this down. I measure, and then I put my snaps in place. All right, just like that. A couple of snaps, and a couple of snaps. Okay. I have another strap I have to put here that comes over the knife. That I won't be able to install until the end. That's when I put that one in. And some of this other stuff I have to get the stitching done first. All right, one second. Like I said, you want to put your snaps in first. You're just going to line these up, punch a hole straight through with just a hole. I, I use, this is a, just a punch that I, I sharpened the edge on because I, I jacked up the front of it. Anyway, I punch all the way through, and I add my, like I said, you might have to work around the leather a little bit. I just, I do hole punches. I don't do anything fancy with it. And I've got these other things. You can attach these to a drill, and uh, it'll still cut the holes. You just line it up and then hit the drill, and it'll drill straight through it, believe it or not. Alright, so I get that lined up. I've already got these in place the way they're going to be. They're going to come back like this, like I said. And now I need to line these up. Once I get these lined up, let me pull this down here so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Anyways, put these on here. See you all. Make sure you're there's that's the fat one. That's for the fatter size, the large, and then this this is for the small. Yeah, like I said, that's the small one for the small. You'll tell the difference. Put the other one on. Once you get all this in place, you want to make sure it works before you start stitching it up. You don't want to go back. Like that. All right. Take this snap it make sure it works and then fold it and then make sure you've got some room there like I said this one is much smaller and there's no way I can fit more stuff on this thing uh, it's just the blade is not the same width I wish it was it'd be a lot easier but uh, I'm having to make something that's small okay all right so I've got all this lined up 
like I said, the last thing I will end up doing is adding the snap that goes here, that goes across here to hold the knife in place. This will all work just fine for the belt, the belt loop and everything else, and I'll come back and clean all this up. But now, now I can actually stop and do the stitching. And like I said before, I use this pre-punctured hole uh, that I use. I lay this out on top, and then I mark my holes, and I go and I punch them, okay? And all I use to punch the holes, once again, one last time, I use, this is straight from a dart, just the end of a dart. And you can tell I've been banging on this for a while. That's how it looks. All right, moving on. All right, forever and a day later, I'm done punching holes and I can start stitching. And I use this. I just use whatever I get my hands on. Usually it's something along this line here. All right, any kind of twine will work. It doesn't matter. Anything, I mean, if you can get fishing line, not, not, you know, you know what I mean, like the green fishing line usually turns out pretty cool. Just gotta find a, on a hunt for a needle. All right. Leave it to Sippy Cup to borrow my needle. <sighs> Sippy Cup, I tell you. Sometimes I'll look in here and it's like, yeah, where'd my stuff go? Oh, I put it in the, mm-hmm. Playing with my stuff again. All right. I got this. Don't need a hammer. Now, I line this up. Come in here. And this is going to take me forever and a day. I'll be done by tomorrow. Sometime. I'm just kidding. It does take a while, but it doesn't take that long. But anyways, sometimes I've got to pull it by hand. But like I said, I come back and I clean all this stuff up when I'm done. I'll come in with the sander and everything else and clean it all up and it's nice and pretty. And people go, wow, look at it, it's so cool. I'm going to look cool now. Anyway. Just going to hold that stuff in place. Ah. Alright. Now. I've got it started. You see how I'm doing it? I go all the way down to the end, and then I turn around and I come all the way back. All right. Okay, so I've reached the end. I've got from here all the way back. It's three layers, and I got the back side done. Okay. Now I've got to tie this off and then start working on the uh, rivets. I've got to do a couple more rivets, I got to do some sanding. And then I've got to do some branding. Okay. But I gotta do a rivet down here and then a rivet up here. That's just I might have room for that. I've, I've just gotta see if I've got room for it first before I do it. It's just to strengthen it, just in case it starts getting crazy with it. The the owner gets crazy with it. I don't know. I don't know the owner personally, so I just got to make sure that's somewhat pressed in. All right, let's see if I've got room. Let's see how much room I have. It's all stitched up, so. All right, feels like it's got room down here, like I said, for the rivet. And then if I put a rivet there, will it have room to come out? Yep. Okay, so I can put a rivet in there. So now I just need to punch my hole. I line this up about like that and hammer I'm going to put my rivet in there I don't need a super long rivet I can just use a regular one should work just fine should. Should is keyword here. Should. Wiggle it in. Put your butt in there. Should go all the way through. 
should have room. Should, right? Should. One more. There we go. Add the backing. There. It gets pretty loud in here. Alright, there's that. Test. Make sure it's gonna... Yep. That's perfect. Alright, there's that. Now I just need to add my rivet down here. I just want to make sure that there's a rivet on the other end. All right, let's make sure real quick. This looks like it needs one right about chaw. It's got kind of a weird shape to this blade. Even though I cut it out, the top part's going to have a weird thing going on. Alright, so right about there is where my rivet's going to go. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Okay. That's my rivet hole. Just mark it. Pull the blade out. Get that out of the way. It's going to be a weird spot. But it's a blade. It's like, it works like a blade stop. It keeps it from going the other direction too far in you don't want it going too far in some people get a little crazy and they start pushing the blade in further than it needs to go so you end up with that situation there I'm just going to do a unique style of a rivet there just kind of make it look cool all those hipsters that want to make it look cool it gets loud in here all right that's the blade stop. It's going to hit the top of this. Keeps the blade uh, in its true position where it needs to be. It doesn't need to go in any further than that. It just needs to stop right there. That's where it needs to go. I don't want it going in any further than that. But that'll work for that. Bottom end, I'll probably put one more right there. Just to be on the safe side. I've seen people take these take uh, knife sheaths and just they'll just start slamming their blade in and out of them because they're busy working. They they don't really pay much attention to what they're doing. I mean, it's not everyone's fault with that. It's just that's just kind of what happens sometimes. That and that. That it gets loud in here. All right, one more on this side and hot. It gets hot and loud. All right, What's that perfect. Nice. Now I've got to add my back strap here. Can't figure out. Uh. I thought I had more of that color. Oh well, I have to grab something else. You know, is this next spot here? It's just going to come around like this. I could probably use the remaining piece of that. I don't think that's going to be big enough though. It's you know, whatever. I think this will do the trick. But basically, I want to make sure I've got room there. Then bring this around here and bring it to there, like that. Just like that. Now, stop it there. Cut it here. Round this off. Just like that. Then add my button snap. snap my kids are going crazy all right there's the button snap and there's that set this here okay I've got this in place I've got to put that guy on use the big one this time this is a bigger button 
sure it's not wiggly. That should work. Now I have to put this on here. Make sure I've got some room. Let's see. There. Where is my punch? There we go. Line that up. Perfect. I need a short one. Short. There we go. Backing. Oh. Just like that. Flatten that out. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Now, I have to figure out where it's going to go. So I push this back in. Just like that. Bring this around. And then push it up against here. Just like that. Now, I'll have a general idea where I'm going. So I know it's going to be there. Sort of tap it in. Now I know I've got my little hole there. Now I can punch. Now... that this this thing here you know, my kids are crazy kids are crazy all right there's that there's that and then that just like that check it do it again. Dang, son. I think that'll work. That should do the trick. Make sure it snaps. Alright, it snaps. Push this in here. Bring this around. Make sure it snaps. It snaps. So now what happens when it's behind their back? They that pull it out. Just like that. Now I gotta clean it up. Alright, just get yourself a sanding wheel. Remove the knife. Some things you can move out of the way completely. I just sort of clean up around the edge. The edges. In most part, I can. Bring this in. something on it to close it up so nothing gets in it.
But I, I need to do my thing first. I think that looks okay. Yeah, there you go. Yep, and then by the time I'm done polishing it up, that's how that looks. There's this. I'm like a shoe shine boy, right? we go and there you have it all right build yourself one now all right watch this was i'm stas from you just watch me build a sheath for a tracker knife there you go take it easy